Good morning, my fellow subscribers, my viewers, my audience. Once again, this is Right Tools for Right Job by Noor Ali. Thank you very much. Always, as always, I hope you're in good health, in good wealth. Well, if you have health, you're going to have wealth. If you don't have health, you won't be able to make wealth. Wealth means earn money. So keep in mind, health is wealth. Stay healthy, stay safe, and keep earning money, okay? So, right tools for right job. As we all know, with tools, we work smart, we save time, and we get our job done. That's the aim, and that's the goal. So, let me share with you today's packet. Okay, in today's packet, we are going to talk about how to configure Cisco Network. So basically, here is a instructions. And uh, with instructions, you got to know how to use the commands. You got to know your way in and out of devices. And you have to understand how to connect and disconnect and reconnect, uh, how to power, repower any network device. Okay, that comes handy. Now, you can get these devices on a virtual uh in a virtual box in a virtual lab also right but uh, whatever the case is but cisco will come in apart if you're a cisco person uh these devices are all over <laughs> all over data centers and uh, idf room mdf room utility rooms uh dmark rooms you'll come across now why do i have it why do i keep it who knows well, I know, because time to time, I will need this information. Time to time, depending on my project, depending on my contract, uh, who knows what I'm going to face. Who knows uh, what come ac comes across on the other side, right? So this is creating a VLAN. Uh, you'll be supporting VLAN schema in the enterprise network. Yes, uh, that happens quite a lot. Now, saving this kind of information uh, is very helpful and it helps you if you're in security, uh, information security, if you're in SOC and command center, if you're an application support guy, well, been there and done that. So keeping this information becomes very valuable, very practical and very realistic. So once you review, once you have this kind of information on your hand, and if you are working level one, level two, level three on site, and if you are supporting a large number of users, you're working with your network engineer, this is their language, okay? Uh, on the business side, nobody cares. Uh, root cause analysis, uh, when the system goes down, when it comes up, uh, the root cause analysis team, will figure it out <laughs> why there was an outage, okay? But you need to understand the language if you're gonna work with the network engineer. It's simple and that's how it's done. I mean, you can read through it. I'm not gonna read the document. I'm not gonna read the commands. You should understand by far what these commands do, why they are used for, if you are in a networking environment, like doing the parameter support. So all these protocols, all these ports, all these terms that you see, like spanning tree protocol, they are still used in today. Well, as I said, I'm not a Cisco guy. Uh, I work vertical and horizontal. I've been in the field for 30 years. I have other certifications, OEM vendor certification. I'm a SOC guy. I'm an information security guy. My current project and my current contract, I'm an infrastructure. Almost like a junior architect. Can you believe that? <laughs> Laughing out loud. Well, well, after 30 years of experience moving up and down, uh, I have done everything in IT. Help desk, desktop support, field engineering, depot work, sales, uh, dedicated support engineer, you just name it. 
been there and done that. So remember I said about the OSI model, right? Remember I said about OSI model? Well, here it is. So the OSI model works with the ports and the protocols. There are TCP ports, there are UDP ports. And there are the ports that you see over here, IP, ICMP, ARP, RIP, all right? There are commands and there are ports and protocols, right? So within each layer, there's a protocol. Within each layer, there's a ports. And uh, they have to work. Ports have to work with database, application, and operating systems on the servers, on the switches, on the routers, and other devices in the data center. Or in the van, LAN, MAN, PAN, and all kinds of different network setup out there uh, today. Uh, this is the last page of this packet till we move to the next packet. Well, these are the commands that are used in the exams, right? When you take a uh, CompTIA exam, you may come across some Cisco or in that nature, right? But you have to get the CompTIA or any other certification domain current, domains they're asking what subject they're covering and what kind of devices you'll come across. But this information that I'm showing you, I'm sharing with you, these are current, valid, and if you're supporting it, you got to know it. Remember what I said before in all my presentation demos? Uh, there is no, it's all about what I say. Nuts and bolts, meat and gravy. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to show you and explain and somewhat explain you what's valid, what's important, what's used. That's about it. Let's take a look at the common ports again. Uh, here's another good sheet that you can download, save it, print it, keep it with you. It's got all the common ports. David, This will come handy when you're doing tech talk. <laughs> when you're running your tickets, uh, Crit 1, Crit 2, Crit 3, Crit 4, any kind of tickets in the ITIL. Could be in ServiceNow, could be in Jira, could be Footprint, could be Remedy. I've used all of them in the last 12 years, okay? So these ports and these protocols right here. So basically, this is a cheat sheet. I got the cheat sheet from this uh, site right here. Uh, no shame, no harm in sharing how a person gathers their tools, their cheat sheets, and uh, what is this cheat sheet about? It's all about commands. It's all about how to use, when to use, and troubleshoot things. Uh, you will come across mount. Currently, I'm in a project where I had to mount a log file using YAML. So mounting is everywhere. <laughs> Uh, even though I'm not a DevOps guy, I'm a SOC person, a security person, but you have to understand the terminology for mounting a file. Very important. So here, this is the last page for this packet till we meet again on the next packet. Like I say, share, learn, teach, and grow. The more you learn, the more you earn. Keep learning for the rest of your life. Uh... Keep learning till till you die, basically, till your grave. And that's the best way to live your life. Share, learn, teach, and grow. Well, it says here, if you like it, subscribe, please. Once again, I want to thank all my viewers, all my audience, all my subscribers, all the new. Thank you very much. God bless. Have a nice day till my next content. Bye.